Isaiah 45, 2 and 3 says, I'll give you treasures from hidden places. And he says, I'll give you all kinds of treasures from places known and unknown. And he said, by this you'll know that I'm the Lord your God, who even calls you by your own name. Because why? Because of the way I'm blessing you. The Lord says, I'm summoning people forth. How many could feel that? How many want to put your hand up and put it in the hand of the Lord and take it and say, Lord, bless me. Say it now, bless me. Talk to the Lord. Some things don't happen because you haven't said it. Number eight or nine, wherever I am, the Lord says, get ready to, to have power confessions in your voice. Begin to speak things that are beyond what you can even uh, imagine in your mind right now. Because Ephesians 3.20 said, beyond what you ask or think, I'll give it to you. Isaiah 45 is very powerful. Go to the 11th verse further. It says, concerning my sons... Uh, Concerning the things I'm going to do, you ask me and I'll show you. Even Psalm 2 verse 8 said, ask of me and I'll give you the nations for your inheritance. And then it said, now here, here's the key point. It said, concerning the works of my hands, you command me. Can you believe God told us to command him to do something? Can you believe that? Lift your hands and catch that revelation. A lot of people live in circumstances and you stay there because you're, you're just stuck. Your environment is wrong. Your thinking is wrong. You're not, you're not broken out enough. But the Lord says the anointing is coming today. The visitation is coming upon this conference. And the Lord says, I'm causing a breakthrough in the mindsets of people. That you are all corporately in this ministry, in this house, and all the churches. Come on. All the preachers, lift your hands that are from other ministries. Let the fire come on you from here. This is an epicenter, but you're going to take this and go, go with it where you're going. The Lord says, I'm going to put it in your hands. I'm going to put it in your mouth. I'm going to put it in your mind. I'm going to put it in your heart. Can you not even imagine and begin to believe what I'll do for you, says the Lord, if you could just believe me. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 1, and he says now... Without faith, verse 6, it's impossible to please him.